Hi everyone, welcome back to Coin World UK. Um, just like to put a little bit of a warning out there before anyone starts buying US coins uh, in Great Britain or Ireland or anywhere uh, in European countries. And you do, I don't know if these are exclusive only to the to the UK. And uh, but a word of warning: please keep away from this deal. This is an absolutely crazy and over overpriced expensive deal that you would ever buy and with the actual price i'd rather buy gold and uh, enjoy it um this is from um the, the danbury mint and i'll show you that in a second now what you're getting on here is uh vanishing hard to find american treasures they certainly are uh, American treasures. I absolutely love American coins, Canadian coins, and every other world coin. Um, but let's talk about the American coins. So, 10 must have coins. So, here it shows you a peace dollar, a beautiful looking uh, Walking Liberty, a Buffalo nickel, and a 1964 uh, Kennedy. Now, obviously, it's from Philadelphia. Not really too sure where the other ones are from. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually the, the mint mark or the maker's mark there. Um, but yeah, it's just showing all these lovely coins on a glossy magazine. And anyone who's collecting or new to collecting numismatics, um, be aware. Um, there's always other sources to buy this particular set elsewhere. Or you can just get it individually and you can get this probably no more than £200, £200 say, uh, in really, really good condition coins. And they're missing out a few others. Now, let's go through the set that they're offering. Now here, I'll just zoom in if I can. They are offering the uh, the Indian head penny. Now I'm not sure what date that's going to be because I don't. I'm not, I think the dates are just there for uh, marketing reasons. And you get a lovely little box. So you have uncirculated classic American coins. Now are they uncirculated? Then you have the very pretty uh, Walking Liberty. Uh, half dollar absolutely beautiful coins I'm not saying that the, these these what they're showing uh, but what they're showing here are going to be obviously the best coins and uh, so this is the uncirculated Washington silver quarter again they're not showing telling you where which mint mark they're from then you have the uncirculated Franklin half dollar or the Benji then you have a VBD 1909, which is Victor David Brown, and I'll show you something in a minute. Um, then you have the uncirculated Mercury Dime. Then you have the 1964 JFK Half Dollar. Again, I'm not showing which mint mark it's going to be from. I believe that's just another copy and paste photo. Then you have the uncirculated Morgan Dollar. Again, I'm not telling you which mint mark. Um, which yeah. Then you have the uncirculated buffalo nickel, and then you have uh, the uncirculated peace dollar again. I think it's just another copy and paste um, picture. So um, why am I doing this? Wow. There we have the almost a set. The, uh, the only the only two coins I'm missing from here is the. Indian head because I give all my Indian heads away to wheat back and the Victor David Brown um, or VDD wheat, uh, wheat scent. I'm just putting up there as as just show you what the set will look like. So here we have an absolutely fantastic 1944 uh, walk in the V. The um, Washington Quarter, sorry, the Benji uh, half, and then the this is going to be a wheat penny. I just know, just in case anybody doesn't know what you're looking for. If you're new, I know the experienced people know what they're looking for. But at the bottom there, it'll have VD, uh, VDB at the bottom there. It'll have the initials, and uh, I'm just putting that there because that is just I'm just illustrating. So then we have the Mercury Dime, then we have the 1964 Kennedy, then we have the Morgan Dollar, then we have the Buffalo Nickel, then we have the beautiful Peace Dollar. So 
I'm just missing a couple of the coins, which I can easily get from the community um, and my set will be complete. Now, that is what I, what I won from Stacks and Stuff a while ago. This is from my collection. Uh, that is from my collection. That This is from Spray Can Coins, which is for the battle chat I just took, went out to show people. This is for me from Paisley and Daddy Show. That was already in my collection. This is from the Paisley and Daddy Show. That is from Jeeps out of my coin set. I didn't have a 1964. That's the only one I have. And then the Mercury Dime. I have quite a few from people, but I just took the first one out. This is from Falls Coins. Now, you may be wondering, why am I showing you this again? This is just irrelevant and all that sort of stuff. Wow. Uh, attractively priced. Now, let's go through the, the, the prices. Each coin is attractively priced at just £75. Plus £5 posted in the handling. Payable in two monthly installments of £37.50 plus £2.50 posted in that postage and handling. So they are charging you £5 for one coin every two months. So that is £50 just for these 10 coins. So don't be fooled when it's oh, it's only £2.50 plus that's up totally forty pounds every single month, and every coin every two months you get one coin at eighty pounds. So this is subject to possible adjustments if needed for unusual market conditions. We receive the coins in a convenient and affordable rate every other month. With a free wooden display case, will be shipped separately. Uh, at about the same time as your second coin. So four months later, you paid £160 for a little wooden case that you can probably pick up somewhere um, for slab coins. And don't forget, these are not graded. These are in, in their little, little plastic cases. So um, if you went to send these off for NGC, PCGS, or any other awesome grading company... Um, They'll probably come back not as great as they think they are. Now, this has been proven a few times, and I was speaking to the Numus Maniac last night, and he was showing me some coins that he fell into, and um, and I feel sorry for but he's starting new obviously I'm not saying he's new to collecting, but I'm saying anyone who is new to numismatics coin collecting, especially uh US coins, um and or any other country that, that, that they bring out. Just look around first. Um, anyway, going back to the set itself. Now, this, as I said, this is from uh, the Danbury Mint. So, there's the website, there's the postcode, Chesington, and then you have the, po the phone number there. Now, what are they going to be doing? Okay, this is a lovely, lovely set. You have all the coins in. You you buy all the coins. It's cost you eight hundred pounds. The whole thing's cost you eight hundred pounds. You have a lovely little box. There comes the next set. Now I don't have all of them, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more coins as well that people can point out, and I will show you. The rosy dime. Are they going to say that this is the next set? The, the steel penny, I know there's key dates to the steel penny, I'm just I'm just elaborating. The Booker T Washington um half dollar. You know, and they're gonna put these in. And the V nickel. So are they gonna bring out another set with one, two, three, four, and then give me a second. Should have this really to be honest. Too far. 
So I'm going through my my um, first book. Because that's where I got most of these from, so. There we go. So are they gonna miss out the Barbara times? And the, the half there. So and then you have the standing liberty. So is this going to be the next? I know there's going to be other coins. So this is from uh, Sheldon and Paisley. So um, are they going to be going? Oh, there's going to be another set with the with the, with the standing liberty, the barber, the barber um, half dollar. I couldn't think what the word was, and the uh, quarter dollar. I know there's more uh, with the pennies and stuff like that. Um, they're going to do the flowing hair or anything like this. Um, the next set is it going to be more expensive um but there is on in the community on youtube there's a fantastic community that you can get all these coins for and it will probably cost you between uh 200 and 250 uh, dollars to get these coins and these have been gifts from me um i've had a couple in my own collection um but this is from alexander smith that was from Lemonhead Penny. This is from Mobile Coins. And I always think of you, Larry. And, of course, this was... Uh, or I already had this coin. So, um, I just want to put that out there. If you're new to look at these lovely glossy sets, um, please be aware they're not as cheap or as not as valuable as they think they are. £800 for a whole set for 10 coins is going to be extortionate um hope you find this video interesting and worthwhile and um if anybody want to put a comment in the bottom for what you think i'm missing uh, i'm probably i'm missing a few coins to be honest i'm still learning on american coins um i love obviously you know i love my kennedy half dollars but when you get things like this through the post it's not as it's not as as glamorous and glossy uh, for the price, is what I'm saying. Um, collect, collect sensibly. Do your research. These big companies are only out to make money. And again, I love the hobby I'm in, um, and I'm glad to be proud of the community, um, and also. If I need any help, I go online and I ask. And uh, there's a lot of experts and they always put me into the right direction. I've never been pointed into the wrong direction yet. And i like to say thank you for watching. I hope this makes sense. Danbury Mint, uh, please get your finger out and stop overcharging for these coins, banknotes and many, many other things you're offering at the moment. It's ridiculous. There is a pandemic. Not many people can afford this. And uh, it's just damn right outrageous, to be honest. Um, enjoy the collection. Enjoy collecting coins, banknotes. Um, come and join our community. Um, you meet some amazing people. And uh, whatever you're up to, please be safe and well. And I will see you guys in the next video.